With Resolve 18, Blackmagic made collaboration a breeze and accessible for those of us who are working remotely with a colorist, editor or VFX artist. As a creative, you should focus on what you're doing best, so working with a team would free up time, plus you would make the most of other people's expertise. We live in an age where working remotely is becoming the norm, so having a collaboration system like the Blackmagic Cloud, where users can work on the same project simultaneously, even with the free version of Resolve, is pretty darn revolutionary. Add to that sharing lightweight proxy files using a local sync folder, and you have a remote collaboration post-production house with users from all over the world. It is very easy to set up, so let's jump right in. The first thing you need to do as the project manager is to hop on Blackmagic Designer's webpage and create a new cloud account. This is where the projects will be hosted instead of your local machine. Each project library costs $5 per month, allowing up to 10 participants, but you can have as many projects as you want in one single library. And get this, only one person from the team of collaborators needs to pay the $5 per month subscription, usually the one who owns the project. All the others can access it with a free Blackmagic Cloud account. If at any point you want to cancel your subscription, you can always copy the cloud projects to your local database before doing that. You are not tied to the subscription once you wrapped up a project. Syncing proxies. I won't be going into details on proxy files since we talked about this in our proxy generator video, which you can check from the link above if you need a refresher. The important concept here is that you don't need to transfer the big original files, which would take forever, but work with small size proxy files created with the proxy generator. These are easily shared even through low speed connections using a sync folder like Dropbox or similar. Proxy files are smaller size copies of the original files that are good enough for basic editing and playback. Once the work is done by the remote users, you can link back to the original high quality files and export your work. Creating a cloud project library. Considering that you already created and purchased the $5 monthly Blackmagic Cloud subscription for a project library, click on the cloud icon in your Resolve 18 project manager. Log in with your username and password and you'll get access to your existing project libraries or create a new one if you have a brand new account. To create a new project library, click on the Add Project Library button below. This action will open a browser window prompting you to log in to the Blackmagic account you just created earlier. Click on the Create Project Library, add a name, select the region closest to you and click Create. This is where you'll be asked for your credit card information to pay for the $5 per month subscription. I don't need to do that since I already have an active project library. Project library sharing. Now that you've created your project library, you're ready to start sharing it with other Blackmagic Cloud collaborators. From your Resolve 18 project manager, reveal the cloud project libraries with this expand button and select the details button on the library you want to share with the collaborator. This will reveal the existing collaborators you're sharing with, or if you don't have any, add a new one from the share button below using their Blackmagic Cloud account email address. Again, the people you share the project with only need the Blackmagic account, which is free. They will receive a notification email to join the project library you shared with them. On their end, they will now have access to all the projects in that library from the Cloud Project Manager in Resolve 18. Keep in mind that they will have access to all existing projects in the library or the new ones you'll be creating in there. To make a project shareable, you'll have to open it first, go to the file menu and select multiple user collaboration. This will allow the remote editor to edit, the remote colorist to color, and the remote sound engineer to do sound design. Collaboration workflow. The first time your collaborators open a cloud project, they might have an empty timeline, so they will have to go and select an existing one from the drop down above the timeline viewer. They will be presented with a media offline warning on their clips, which need to be reconnected to their original or proxy files. For that, click on the red Relink Media button on the top of the media pool and locate either your original source files or the proxy ones in your sync folder. There is one main concept to remember when working on a collaborative workflow. First come, first served. Meaning that the user who first selects a bin in the media pool or opens a timeline or selects a clip for coloring gets read and write access. All other collaborators can view them but cannot make any changes. This model prevents editing conflicts between different users trying to work on the same item. Once they click away, the changes they made are committed and the items become available to the rest of the collaborators who can see the updates by clicking the refresh icon. 
you will easily notice if a bin is locked by another contributor, by their name badge attached to the bin, or the timeline thumbnails. You can open a locked timeline and view its content, but you won't have any editing capabilities. Those are reserved for the user who opened it first. Again, you can identify who is currently editing the timeline by their name badge appearing in the upper right corner of the viewer. For instance, if your colorist is currently grading a clip on your timeline, helpfully marked with their name badge, and you want to see the latest changes after they clicked away from it, you'll notice the refresh icon on the top of the viewer. Click on it to see their latest version. Once they clicked away from that clip, it becomes unlocked and you can continue with your own adjustments. Another useful collaboration tool is the chat panel where you can communicate with active users. This can be great if you want to ask certain users to free up bins and timelines or to communicate other changes. And you can see which collaborators are actively present in the project at any given time from the collaborators icon below. This is where you can also set your role in the project. As an editor, you can also add new clips to your timeline or do editorial changes while it's being graded by your colorist. Just keep editing as usual since the color page manages the clip blocking independently from the edit page. Once a color pass is done, you can leave markers with notes for the colorist on the clips that need further adjustments. Or perhaps you're working with a remote assistant editor taking care of organizing your clips in bins adding metadata and creating string outs or multicam timelines. You can easily start editing and locking the contents of a bin while your assistant continues with the usual organizational housekeeping, never stepping on each other's toes. And needless to say that remote collaboration and resolve using Blackmagic Cloud is extremely accessible today with minimum setup effort compared to the earlier Postgres project server system. You don't need to have any IT experience to set up a shareable project library. I hope you can see the leverage of working in a remote collaborative workflow in Resolve and the advantages it opens to have a team participating no matter from which corner of the planet. We have loads of post-production workflows and color grading tutorials you can watch on our channel, so hop on there to check those out. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not yet. With that, I'll see you in the next one.